I have this really cool friend whose name is Carlos. Now his job is to basically travel the world while making videos for GoPro. Oh! And he's not the sort of guy who necessarily enjoys hanging out by the beach, drinking coconuts and doing nothing else. He's the sort of guy who rides motorbikes in the Himalayas, goes on crazy rally expeditions in Mongolia and drives 4x4s in countries like Namibia or Zimbabwe. Earlier this year, I just finished traveling all around Indonesia for two months and at the same time he was driving a car all around Australia with another friend of his. So we spontaneously came up with this plan where I would fly in from Indonesia to Sydney, then they would pick me up there with the car and all of us would make our way all the way down south to Melbourne. It all seemed great and I was super excited for the trip. I feel like it's going to be a great trip. And now I'm late to board my flight, so I'm gonna board my flight. But the very same day I landed in Sydney, the car broke down. <laughs> and it didn't just break down, basically they blew the engine. Well, guys fucked their car, completely blew up the engine. End of the trip. <laughs> so apparently my trip from Sydney to Melbourne, which is 1,000 kilometers away, just send it before it even began. So the situation didn't really look that good, but then it turned out that three of Carlos's friends, Harry, Annabelle, and Georgia, were actually doing a really cool road trip all around Tasmania, which is a small island in the south of Australia. And of course, of course, we decided to join them. So early next morning, we caught up at the airport in Sydney and finally began the trip. <laughs> Yo, dude! Here we are, finally. Yeah, we're going to Tasmania. We're waiting for a flight to Tasmania. He just sold the car. Uh, he's, he's okay, apparently. And, yeah. uh, and that's it. That's how we brought. <laughs> How's the ice cream? Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we're going to a supermarket right now to get some food for the whole trip, and we're ready. We're ready for the supermarket. <laughs> we love the no shoes thing. where we're going to pitch the tents literally on the beach yes that's the fireplace the tents are going to be somewhere here and that's our private little beach we're in Tassie <laughs> and Harry's finishing we'll be camping at the beach and go for a sunrise surf <laughs> <laughs> at the bay of fires at the bay of fires It is 8 a.m. in the morning. Turns out we slept for about 10 or 11 hours. <laughs> it was very, very, very cold. Because my sleeping bag is very thin, so I was shivering. I, I woke up like three or four times and I just couldn't sleep anymore. But, hey, it's beautiful. Oh, dude, yes. Yes. It's so good. I can't about with anything. Yes, yes. And we have a lot of bread, so it's fine. Yeah, exactly. We just came to some sand dunes, and uh, what we want to do now is we want to want to go sandboarding. Okay, this is the first try. He's going. <laughs> it worked. Carlos is trying again. Annabelle wants to do it. It's going. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Did it hurt? No. No. Soft sand. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. Hope we're not gonna break anything. <laughs> yeah, like put all your weight on the back. Just go. There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh I made it all the way down. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we just came to some national park and we're going to trek up some mountains. Those ones. 
I think I have either food poisoning or sunstroke or something like this. Because I'm very dizzy, very sleepy. I'm so sad I cannot go to the very top because it looks so good right there. Nothing I can really do about it, so I'll just roll with it. <laughs> Look at the clouds. <laughs> wow. It's about 8.15 in the morning and we just woke up and the weather is absolutely perfect! That right there is a deadly snake. Just hanging out in the sun. We were trekking for over an hour. Then on this path we saw two snakes and right now we decided to turn around and go back. So... at a random viewpoint. How good is this place? <laughs> Both sides though. This side, beautiful. That side, even more beautiful. What a huge beach. It was all the way at the very end, right there. <laughs> this lighthouse was built in 1836. What? All around us, there's really, really gorgeous views. And once again, no people anywhere. No people here, there, on the beach, nowhere. Augusta and Charles had 12 children. Imagine raising such a large family in the loneliness and isolation of life at a light station. What? 12 children here. I can show you their house. Their house was just there in the middle of nowhere. And they were living here with 12 children. Well, at least it wasn't uh, too lonely for them. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 like the asshole just there. <laughs> <laughs> The ass of the shit right. there. He's on. And I'm on the roof as well. Now that's what you call it. Wow. Our camping days are officially over. We just arrived at Harry's house, but look at the driveway to his house. <laughs> look at those trees. <laughs> wow. This is literally the most beautiful driveway I've seen in my entire life. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is insane! Oh, look at this. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Carlos. <laughs> Pleasure to be celebrating with you. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> he's like being his reaction. <laughs> So this is the morning of the last day of our trip and today we're going to go to the most famous mountains in all of Tasmania. They're called the Cradle Mountains. Now apparently the weather today is pretty bad because it's been raining throughout the night and it's still raining right now. So we're not really sure if we can actually make it but we're gonna go there and we'll see what, what happens. I was busy filming stuff and the guys went somewhere. There's there's quite a few paths here, so I don't really know which one they took. I'm I'm shouting their names, they're not replying, so they might have easily gone some some other way. Just came to the first lookout point and it looks gorgeous. It doesn't look like real life at all. Yes. Yes. My shoes are totally soaked. I'm the only person with sneakers on the mountain. Everyone has proper hiking shoes except for me. How come? Why is it always me? <laughs> Yo! Where did you go? Yo, Annabelle! I thought we took the long one. <laughs> 
they were, we kept on waiting. We were like, "Dude, come! Like, this is gonna be the car!" Like, no way, dude. And they were like, "Let's try for these on the yeah. right track." Now we're going to the summit, right? <laughs> yeah. So happy! Ooh, yes. 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 <laughs> we're at the top. We're finally at the very top. Yes. So, so, so. Yes. You made it! Good job.